Hey, it's Tom. We're back at the Resorts World Casino over by Kennedy Airport in Queens, New York. We're here today with Kelly from, I'm sorry? Black Cherry Tattoo Studios. And that's in LaGrange, New York, up near Poughkeepsie. And this is lovely Amanda, one of her canvases. Hello. As you can see, she obviously knows what she's doing. <laughs> well, we're going to get to Amanda in a second. This is actually body paint. Otherwise, that would be the most amazing tattoo I've ever seen in my life. But let's talk to Kelly a little bit first, and uh, we'll talk about some of her ink here. She's a tattoo artist herself. Kelly, talk about your your ink there. What where, what inspired you to get these? Okay. Uh, well, this piece, my grandfather always said when I was a little girl, I should have been a gypsy. So this was kind of my tribute to him. Um, this tattoo here combines my two favorite forms of art. I have a tattoo machine with a paintbrush coming out of my tube for my body art. Um, this was actually done by me. This was one of my first tattoos. You did that yourself? I did this one myself to see how, how heavy my hand was. I think every tattoo artist should test themselves out. This one was also done by me. Um, and it's got paintbrushes for the antennas. Kind of hold that up there so we get closer to that, yeah. That's pretty damn good. Um, this piece here was done by a, a co-worker, Jazzy Camacho. She's currently down in Florida. She actually did this piece here, my tattoo machine, my gypsy, and my numbers on the back. These are mileage stamps for a 50-mile race and half marathon. That's pretty amazing. And I have never look back, never give up and never look back on the insides of my biceps. Kind of self-explanatory what those represent. You got something over here, I too. I have uh, just a symbol of being an artist, my color wheel. So, and this piece here is for my three children, my three little stars. One of my first tattoos, very small, since they've gotten a lot bigger. <laughs> That's really cool. You have Dreamer also, I know, on your, on your forum. That's pretty cool. Dreamer. Never forget you're a dreamer. Yeah. We all are. That's really cool. So let's uh, let's talk about your your. I bumped into Amanda here. I'm walking through the show here, and I was blown away. I'm like, is this girl naked? But no, she's not. She's actually body painted for the most part. She's kind of naked. She's a little bit naked. So uh, you're not wearing a shirt, are you? All right. So we won't talk about that. I don't want to draw too much of a crowd here. Pasties and some panties, but yeah. Anyway, you got the Japanese kabuki thing going. We love it. Can you talk to us a little bit about how you did this, how long did it take, and so forth? Um, honestly, I'm not sure how long it took me. Maybe three hours. Not even, and it was a little bit breaks in between. Yeah, yeah, we took some breaks. Um, I kind of based her behind a privacy screen so she didn't come out fully nude, and we completed it on stage in about 40 minutes or so. Do you want to do a spin around? Did a quick. Um, I chose the oh, design. Let me see the back there. Can you bend forward just a little bit to see the back of the, the uh, koi fish there? I chose a design that I could just kind of organically flow with and paint comfortably in front of the audience. Being a tattoo artist, it's stuff that I'm familiar with and didn't really have to put much thought into it. I like my art to flow with the shape of the body, just like in tattooing. So um, yeah, I just kind of had fun with it. I did the color blends behind a privacy screen and then brought her out and put all of the larger components in, in front of everybody for some entertainment purposes. <laughs> Well, I, I, well, we're going to see Amanda again, hopefully tomorrow, when she's out of the body uh, paint. Oh, she's in a new body suit, actually. She yeah. will. It's new body suit. Casino themed tomorrow to fit our venue. That's cool. Well, hopefully, at some point, we'll see your ink. She actually has ink under all this somewhere. Somewhere, right? We got one here. Yeah, her paint is really good. So we have some tattoos hiding. Most of it. There's one here, one here, one here. One here, one on the back. One here, one here. I have, I have something. What is your forearm say? It says music in the soul can be heard by the universe. Music is the soul. Music in the soul can be heard by the universe. Oh, okay, cool. You got a little paint on there. I'm a little, plus I'm stupid. I'm, I never actually learned to read, ladies and gentlemen. But <laughs> anyway, well, hey, listen, Kelly, Amanda, thank you very much. You. Good luck to you. What's, uh, now one more time on your, your name of your shop. Black Cherry Tattoo Studios in LaGrange, New York. Excellent. Back to you. Thanks.